third party House leader. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. In, in response to my question yesterday, the Minister for Children and Family Development said she needed to work with Ottawa to ensure there was funding in place for all Indigenous people and that kids would benefit from it. I think Ottawa is on board. In reference to the humanitarian crisis facing Canada's child welfare system, the Federal Indigenous Services Minister Jane Philpott said, this is very much reminiscent of the residential school system where children are being scooped up from their homes, taken out from their families, and we will pay the price for of this for generations to come. We take babies away from women living in poverty because they are poor, and we finance it through a perverse system that pays welfare agencies more the more children they seize. Through you, Honourable Speaker, to the Minister of Children and Family Development, will the Minister here on International Women's Day commit to me, the members of this chamber, and every family in BC that the funding from the federal government will be allocated to preventative and supportive services that keep families healthy and together instead of financially rewarding agencies for taking children away from their mothers? Minister of Children and Family Development. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for the question. I, I too, was at the uh, emergency meeting that was called by the federal government back in, in January, where we met to talk about the issues that the very the issues that are in crisis across the entire country in, in Canada. That the fact that there is overrepresentation of Indigenous children right across the country and, and here in BC as well, and we need to do better. We need to change that trajectory. So I have committed to legislation this spring that I, I want to bring into the legislature to change that trajectory so that we can actually have a situation where uh, social workers can talk to First Nations before a child is brought into care to find out from a First Nations if in fact there's someone within the First Nation, like a family member, an auntie, a grandma, who can take that child. The way our act reads right now, we can't do that. And we need to change that act. And I'm looking forward to bringing that legislation into this House and having every member of the House support that legislation so we can move forward to change the path of Indigenous children and their families on how child welfare is done in this province. Third party House leader on a supplemental. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. And I'm happy to hear there's legislation coming. However, the Act already stipulates, as do the, the practice standards, that First Nation communities should be involved at this point. There was no greater critic of this ministry than the NDP when they were in opposition, and yet people on the ground are telling me that nothing has changed. As the representative for children and youth pointed out this week, we still have a paternalistic, racist, sexist system that treats women terribly and punishes people for being poor. The minister is no longer in opposition. She is in charge. In the last seven months, she could have issued ministerial directives. She could have tabled legislation before now, introduced new policies, at the very least issued a letter to every staff member in her ministry detailing her expectations on how things would be different, like her colleague, the Minister of Indigenous Relations and Reconciliation, has done. Through you, Honourable Speaker, will the minister commit to doing all of the above in addition to scrutinizing every apprehension that happens in this province to ensure that the act as it stands right now and the practice standards are being followed in each and every case. Minister of Children and Family Development. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And we are looking at the Act. We are looking at uh, issues within this province. We are reaching out to social workers and saying, how can we change the way that we do practices within this province? And we also we need to redouble our efforts to ensure that uh, we are changing the system. Um, we've already responded to a number of concerns that been, have been raised. For example, um, we have changed the way the adoption website is, is run. So after a number of communications and concerns that were expressed by various First Nations communities, uh, across the province. Um, we've also, we're in the process of, of communications with social workers on how we can change that process, how we can look at things like, is it an issue of poverty? And I think our government has, has done due diligence in this factor by bringing in a housing, uh, an extensive housing plan to ensure that poverty isn't an issue because it can't be an issue when you're taking a child into care. You have to look at other issues to make sure that that, that is not why a child is being brought into care. We are working hard with our social workers and social workers 
Conservatives are committed to doing the job that needs to be done because the bottom line, Mr. Speaker, the bottom line is everybody wants the well-being and safety of children to be put first in this province, and that's what social workers are doing. Thank you.